everybody this is Ori from circuit and I'm going to show you in this video how to actually install an extension to enhance your SEO using the WordPress all-in-one SEO extension okay so what we want to do right now is go to the back end uh, go to actual plugins and click on add new okay and this is this example is a new site there's nothing installed here so we're gonna start from zero okay great and uh, what you're going to actually do is use the search box to search for the specific term okay so all in one SEO I'm actually going to find the specific one that that is the most popular and the one that we know use, is used okay so if I click on this one I'll be able to see of course the reviews and number of downloads etc so let's look here to confirm that this is the one we're looking for okay perfect okay great so let's click on install and of course anytime you install a new extension with a WordPress you always want to have a backup of your database of your files of everything just in case some kind of custom code uh, interacts in a, in a wrong way or you crash your site or of course if you're hopefully not but if you're working on your live site okay so um, this is just a test domain so there's nothing uh, we need to make a backup of right now okay so let's click on activate after it downloaded okay great now that we have it activated the plugin activated now um, this specific warning shouldn't be there but basically because because this is a test video uh, or a test site and we made this video to actually show you how to use it we've actually blocked uh, access uh, the meta robots for, from search engine actually indexing this website so if your website is live you wouldn't have this problem at all um, but this is just the settings of a uh, WordPress itself we don't want to index these videos this is just for tutorials only okay great so now that I have this extension up and up and running now it's activated because we clicked on before let's click on the SEO settings and go through some popular settings okay so let's just dismiss this okay great so um, now uh, this is the main settings page and uh, you have some settings here okay so uh, let's go over a few of them okay so the first one is canonical URLs uh, those are basically good to have by default in order to not have duplicate duplicate pages on your website so it's good to keep this checked the extension will automatically specify uh, that a page is the the original page or not or if not it, it'll reference a different page okay um, and of course any single section right here you always have the check a uh, the question mark excuse me and it can kind of explain a little bit more but if not you uh, feel free to ask questions in this video and we'll be happy to help okay so um, next one is for canonicals as well um, do I automatically want to set the the uh, protocol to HTTP or HTTPS okay so let's keep it on auto for now um, and let's go down here okay uh, okay so next one home page settings so what is what are the default settings I want for the title tag meta description for the home page so of course you need to fill this out so let's just say fun video WordPress domain home page okay so of course you need to put in your keywords and description of what your actual business or blog or WordPress site do okay and you need to put in your meta description okay so um, this is a test sentence uh, describing two users and search engines about my homepage okay and of course you need to describe and make it attractive for users to understand more about this specific page this homepage so people want to click on it uh, and are in would be interested in your website when they search for relevant terms okay great um, so all of the rest themselves um, you can kind of keep by default for now uh, but uh, again this video is showing more popular ones so let's look at this one right here homepage title format so now um, you have all of these different formats will which will use these variables these changing data points based on settings you put in your specific posts or pages so if you want to always have let's say your uh, your business name or your uh, website name at the end you can do something like this so blog title right so right here blog title okay so this will basically reference the actual title in the settings themselves okay 
Um, so if my my a business name or my website is circuit blog it would always say the specific page title so in the specific page which we'll get into a little bit later and then space pipe space and then the actual blog title okay and again so these by default are pretty good this is just the page title the title tag we're gonna specify on a per page basis and then the blog title and then of course for posts the same and the same goes for categories and archives etc so all of this by default is pretty good but depending on what you're trying to do on your website you may want to change this just please know that if you do change it it changes category wide post wide page wide so you need to double check yourself always after you save it go to your site mimic yourself as a user look at the title tags the changes the descriptions etc okay great okay so um all the rest is it, you can kind of keep it by default um, these are just good to go. Of course, you can specify your uh, webmaster tools IDs if you want to verify this way, unless you're verifying in other ways. Okay, um, and so uh, all of the rest are pretty uh, technical things that are not too important. These are very very small things that uh, may help with the with the search engines, but just very very little. So a lot of the default ones are pretty good. Okay, great. So let's go down see what else we're missing here. Okay, perfect. So let's let's go from there. Okay, so of course, once you make any changes, you want to actually click on update options, and it would save that. Okay, of course, if you don't save it, um, nothing will will get saved. Okay, so now let's go to the actual post and let's see some additional data that has been added. Okay, to the post, of course, SEO data. So now I'm going to click on all posts, and let's edit just a sample uh, post right here. So if I edit it, in addition to all the, the simple, uh, the, sorry, the, the common things that are on a post, so of course the title and the content and the tags and everything, now if we scroll down, let's go down here, now we have a new box right here called All-in-One SEO Pack, which will be able to fill up the specific title tag that we want to put there. Now if we don't fill it up, then the default title of the actual post and then what we had the pipe blog title would appear if we want to override that which we do in in most cases uh, we're actually gonna go here and click on title tag fill it up meta description fill it up and that's basically it so basically this extension will add a little bit more information so you can override and specify the exact settings you want on this per post basis and the same thing applies on a per page basis right um, so it's going to look exactly the same if I go down on the page I'll have the same box I'll be able to fill in all of this stuff title tag meta description um, etc etc okay um, so this is basically a quick overview of everything I hope this makes sense if you have specific questions about some of the specific elements that are there or options or uh, settings, let me know. I'll be happy to answer with what I can. And that's it. Thank you.